Beni Bidi Visit. Tarragona. My waves have been washing these coasts from the beginning of time. Thanks to me, the summers are warm and bright, and the winters mild and dry. Travelers from distant lands crossed my waters when they came to this place, inhabited by warlike Celts. Commerce, culture, language. I was the bridge linking faraway peoples who began to live together in a single community. Over the centuries, I have witnessed many changes, wars and celebration, wealth and ruin, progress and tradition. All of these are woven together to create the city known today as Tarragona. My waters carried the greatest civilizations of those times, whose people called me Mare Nostrum. It was the year 218 before Christ when the Romans settled in the little place they named Tarraco. They brought the cultivation of vines and olives with them, creating the products that have come to be the city's most important gastronomic features. Tarraco soon became the capital of Hispania Citerior and was a splendid city. It was surrounded by fields on which farm workers' huts were scattered like seeds and which were irrigated by astonishing feats of engineering, such as the Puente del Diablo, Devil's Bridge. Tarraco had civic spaces like the Forum, where citizens could take part in the public life of the town. Protected against its enemies, it was a place where the inhabitants could enjoy culture and games in buildings like the amphitheater and the circus. It is certainly true that the people of Tarragona have always known how to enjoy their many and varied festivals no matter in which age they live. Many of these festivals continue to be celebrated to this day. They're still part of the city's extraordinary cultural heritage and one of its most important tourist attractions. The warmth of human contact is the best part of any festival, whether it be Carnival, Holy Week or Santa Tecla. As times changed, Tarragona became a frontier town. Between the 10th and the 11th centuries, it marked the boundary between Moorish and Christian Catalonia. Now the people no longer call me Mare Nostrum, but the Mediterranean. They built the beautiful cathedral of Santa Maria over the old Roman temple. Mansions for the city's noble family sprang up around Caballer Street. These were golden years for Tarragona. I carried its citizens to Italy, Sicily and beyond. As far as the gates of Constantinople itself. The power of the Kingdom of Aragon was known along the whole coast and exotic products were brought here to be sold under the arches of Merceria Street. That medieval atmosphere can still be felt in the little Sunday antique market in the Plaza de la Seu. The little shops in the Rambla Nova 
the surrounding streets as well as the upper part of the city still maintain all the characteristics of those original small businesses. I continued to contemplate the city. The city still continues to contemplate me, enjoying the mild afternoons and gentle breezes I bring. I helped its industrious people to sell their products. And at the dawn of the Industrial Revolution, Tarragona became the most prosperous and cultural city in the land. Its modernist buildings are a legacy of that time. Tarragona continues to play an important role in industrial and commercial sectors today. Leading entrepreneurs come from all parts of the world to its trade fairs and the exchange of products and ideas remains at the heart of its identity. But Tarragona's identity is also connected with the pleasures brought by my balmy waters and soft breezes. Here my beaches are blessed with golden sands and bathing is good from May to September. Outdoor activities and water sports can be enjoyed all year round. Perhaps that's why those who live here find it so easy to share their good fortune with visitors. The new marina accommodates a wide range of leisure activities and a number of well-known art and music festivals are held in the city. I am generous with the cities on my shores and the gastronomy of Tarragona is based on the harvest from my waters. One of the best places to try them is the typical fishing area of El Cerrado. I continue to carry vessels that enter and leave the port, but times change and so do ways of travelling. Now Tarragona has an airport nearby, and it's well connected by roads. But the most important things don't change. Tarragona continues to be a welcoming and cosmopolitan city where nobody feels left out. Tarragona also preserves its spectacular historical legacy, for which it deserves its status as UNESCO World Heritage Site. Tarragona is a city that looks to the future from a solid foundation in the past. Beni, bidi, visit. Tarragona.